sad news to report tonight. Former four-term Connecticut senator and vice presidential candidate Joe Lieberman uh, passing away in New York City at the age of 82. His family in a statement saying the cause of death, complications from a fall that appears had, had just happened very recently, if in the, maybe the last 24 hours. Lieberman has much of his career uh, was a Democrat. He ran with Al Gore in 2000, but later changed his political affiliation to independent, become one of the stronger moderate voices in the country. He was a staunch supporter of Israel and formed the No Labels Group, which is this centrist political group that's trying to field candidates for the election this year on a unity platform. Now, Lieberman was a friend of Newsmax. He was a friend of this show and a frequent guest on his show. I loved to speak to this man because I like to hear different viewpoints. He leaves behind his wife, Hadassah, and three kids. Mort Klein is the president of the Zionist Organization of America and a close friend of the late senator, and he joins us now. And Mort, I, I know this is a, a tough one for you. I can understand that you guys were close. Um, just your reaction to the loss. It was sudden because I, I talked to him not too long ago. He was, he was very spry. Uh, Joe Lieberman <clears throat> was a man of extraordinary integrity, <clears throat> the likes of which you rarely see in politics. Uh, he would decide on issues as to whether they were right or wrong, not whether his party was pushing for that uh, certain issue. When Bill Clinton refused to move the embassy to Jerusalem, he publicly condemned Clinton for it and said he will personally move it brick by brick to move it. When Obama wanted the uh, Iran deal uh, passed, uh, he uh, fought against it, saying this is a terrible deal. In 13 years, this gives Iran the right to have nuclear weapons legally. So he voted against it. And only last week, when Chuck Schumer made a horrific speech demanding that Netanyahu be thrown out of office, be voted out of office, right. uh, uh, and he condemned Schumer for this. And oh, by the way, only a two months ago, he publicly demanded that Iran be bombed, be bombed, saying that they're behind, behind Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis, even though the Democratic Party has supported Iran by giving them $26 billion in the last few months and ignoring all sanctions. So this was a man of extraordinary integrity. And uh, I might tell you a story if you have a minute. I was just in Israel. I had a two-hour meeting with Minister Ron Dermer. When I walked out of the meeting, who's sitting there waiting to meet with him next? Senator Joe Lieberman. I said, my God, Senator Lieberman, what are you doing here? He said, I have a meeting with Ron Dermer. I said, so where are you staying here in Israel? He said, I'm staying at the Hotel Hannah. I said, what's the Hotel Hannah? He said, my daughter Hannah has moved to Israel and I now stay with her. And I, we call it the Hotel Hannah. Uh, and I come to Israel much more frequently now because I have no hotel expense. That's no. what Joe Lieberman said to me. He's a good guy. It's a sad story to hear. It, it, I think it shocked, it shocked us here to, to hear that just come up today. Nobody expected that. Mort Klein, we appreciate you coming on, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back.